Welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Linan. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and today it's about my trip with my husband for our long weekend. So yeah, um, as you can see, I am not in my normal place. Um, I am in our camper. We are having a long weekend with some very dear friends in South Carolina and um, today is going to be an inside uh, play games and hangout day because it is going to rain all day. That's all right. Last night um, we went to a really great seafood restaurant. I had the best shrimp tacos that I've had in a really long time. Um, yeah, it was good. Tom got some fried shrimp that were phenomenal. It was, yeah, it was primo. So we had a really good time. So today, crochet version, what am I going to do? So my plan is I brought a couple of crochet projects because I know I figured I wasn't going to be able to sit and do a really big project. But you know, when you're talking and sitting, you want something in your hands, right? So I wanted something that I didn't have to think about. And my first thought went to and Ophelia's uh, talks, the uh, Agatha's Reader Shaw. I love the shape of that shawl, the, the hexagon with the flat bottom or the half hexagon with the flat bottom. But I didn't want anything with holes in it this time. And I wanted to, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit. I wanted to do something different. So what I decided to do, and I started this I started this Wednesday night just to get it started. And it is flying off my hook, you guys. And instead of doing double crochets, I'm doing half double crochets. I'm not doing any windows at all. And this thing is just, it is gonna be so cool. And I'm using a lightweight, it's a DK weight. Um, I'm using the Noro that I picked up last summer when I was home um, for Sydney's graduation, I ran to the local yarn shop that was going out of business and I got all this Noro, um, it's 40% cotton, 25% silk, 25 viscose. Here's the name of the color, but don't worry, you can't get it. It's discontinued because I looked it up on Noro's site. Um, but it's just these really pretty soft colors of pink and green and I don't know, kind of says Easter eggs a little bit, a little, but it's going to be the perfect weight. It's a DK weight with that cotton feel. So it's just going to be that. And I'm, I've got, uh, I started one, two, three, I have five. And I'm literally just going to go until all five of these are gone. That's how big it's going to be. If it's blanket size, it's blanket size. It is going to be big. It's, I'm just going to go until I run out of all this yarn. And I, 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 you know, I just, I love this shape because you don't have that point pointing to the butt because nobody wants to be that getting pointed out to everybody when you're walking down the road, right? So. I am using my five millimeter, uh, I think Jaxi sent this to me and I don't know, I don't remember the manufacturer, but it's a really nice uh, ergonomic hook with a nice, is perfect for this yarn. Um, and so, and you know me, I, this is all I have left at the first skein. If I've got one, I've got two. So what else did I bring? Well, I brought my hip to be squared squares um, for Jackie um, at Crochet ADHD. Yeah, I did it again, Jackie. I'm sorry. Jackie, check out her channel. She'll tell you how to say it. Anyway, and I have one done in the light blue. I did remember last month I did two. Well, I've got one done in the light blue. But then I got to thinking, and this is Jackie's fault again. See, I told you she was the evil one. She said that she was originally going to do her hip to be squared and she was going to do a blanket. Well, the last time I saw her video, she said she changed her mind. She's thinking about a wrap. Well, that set my mind to thinking. And I'm like, ooh, 
I like that idea. So here I go, putting myself into granny square heck again. Sorry for the noise outside. But I decided I have a bunch of these left over from when I did um, Luck of the Draw with all this uh, Mellow Spun DK, the Ultra Mellow Spun DK. I have a bunch of this left over. Plus I have some of this um, Yarn Bee Must Be Merino. Cause this is um, 50 Merino, 25 acrylic, 25 nylon. And this Mellow Spun DK is, I think it's just an acrylic. Yeah, it's 70 acrylic, 70 or 30% nylon. But they kind of, they go together. They're both DK weights. So I just grabbed a bunch of colors. I got blue, I got brown, pink, tan, this color, and this color. I think I got another one down in here. And this, this Robin's egg blue. And I grabbed a little bit of green. I'm going to make a bunch of little squares. And I'm going to make a wrap out of them. And between Jackie with her hip to be squared and Nancy with her squares cardigan. And I saw Lynette at Charm Grammy is doing a granny square cardigan. I don't want to make a cardigan out of it, but I'm going to do a wrap. But instead of making them in rows straight, I'm going to do them like in the diamond pattern. So that would be two, then three, then two, then three. So the edge will be kind of, you know, zigzag and they'll be kind of turned on an angle. At least that's how I have it in my head. Now, will it work out that way? Who knows? But we're going to give it a shot. Um, so I'm just going to do generic granny squares, small ones in random colors and random color them until I have a really long wrap. Let's see how it works out. And I have more of all of this, but this is what I brought with me to get started. And who knows, I may not even touch it because you know, when you're with friends you haven't seen in a long time, who knows? It may or may not get started, but I this is gonna get done because I, I love this idea. And it's one of those where it doesn't have to be done until the end of the year because her hip to be squared is a year long thing. So yeah. That is my vacation projects. Um, so um, I did take a little bit of video uh, yesterday when we were driving. Not much because really there was just a lot of highway driving. Um, and who needs to see that? It's boring. Uh, and then when we got off the highway, the roads were so incredibly narrow. And I was driving at that point and I was white knuckling it most of the time. So I did take a few minutes of some video as we came across some really pretty marsh. It was really pretty. So I hope you enjoy that snippet of uh, video that I have for you. Um, so with that, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I know we're going to have a really good time. Um, be true to yourself. Give yourself some grace. But above all, be kind to everyone, and we'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hi, everybody. Oh, there's Tom. We stopped at a Flying J in somewhere, Georgia, Brunswick, to Georgia. Brunswick, Georgia, to have some lunch at a Denny's that we're going to sit and eat in an RV. So I just thought I'd say hello and pop in and check to see how your Thursday's going. Um, when we hit the road again and get to a little more scenic, I'll, I'll flip the camera around and show you the sights we're seeing. So just wanted to say, hey everybody, when you're on the road with Tom and Lenann. We'll see you later. There we are in the parking lot. We're gonna have our Denny's lunch, believe it or not. I'm getting a super bird. Tom got a cheeseburger. drive but it's pretty we are somewhere in South Carolina um, on our way towards Charleston I believe is where we're headed to the Charleston area anyway um, yeah just not a whole lot going on to show you that's why I haven't recorded but I just wanted to give you a little taste
Carolina. And that's the way it is. And that's the way. Oh, see, look, there's some water. That's pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. So, so you get a little taste of what we're seeing while we're driving.